Welcome to our Status Cast product demo. When an incident does strike, you can rely on Status Cast's user friendly interface. The admin portal is your command center during an incident. You can create an incident directly or manage one that's already in progress quite easily. We can see here coming into this page, I can see some details on this existing incident. I can see a user is already looking at it. It's been assigned to them. A team's been assigned as well. We can click to my post tab to add another post or to resolve it. Let's click add post real quick and look at one of status cast quick tools for help, helping to save time. Typing out an in, in a message is not hard, but it can waste a couple minutes. Status cast lets us create templates for everything that might preset downgrading it from unavailable to performance and just being able to quickly put this in and then click publish and notify. This is the other important thing here to note that anytime you send out an, uh, an incident, you can choose to send out notifications. Proactively notifying people really helps to stop the flood of are you down messages that can come into any support team. You know, we really shine in this aspect, whether it's email, SMS, webhook, Slack, MS Teams, Twitter, Facebook, you name it, you got it in terms of publishing notifications. Let's go ahead and send out that out, which will send out an email. This is gonna downgrade our current status as well. And most users who will get a notification would have the option to go to the actual status page. So let's head over there real quick and let's click refresh just to see what's going on at the moment. We can see here there are a number of widgets displaying different things on our status page. Our status pages are very customizable. So what we're seeing here on my page is not the only way this can be created or configured. We can see this current widget on top is giving us the what's going on now type of information. This one down below this is also giving us our hierarchy of components. Components are very important on your status page because this is ultimately gonna be what we're representing with statuses. So status cast does let you go several layers deep up to five levels of hierarchy, which will really let you create a real representation of your IT ecosystem. Other widgets are gonna be configured to give us potentially historic access to see what's gone on in the past or maybe what will go on in the future like our dashboard or the uh, calendar widget. And all this is customized and managed from the app directly. If I click this drop down as an admin, I see page design as an option. And I'm quickly brought in here to see an unrendered version of the page. This lets me play around with my, uh, with my layout and formatting, as well as uh, choose what widgets are gonna be shown. We can configure them, so there's gonna be lots of options that we can control here. And if you want to set up CSS or use one of our pre-made themes, you can do that as well. So that way your status page ultimately is the resource that feels at home for your users and is structured in a way that you want it to be. So we can see here in this case that I just made these two sit side by side in their own column. And it was just as simple as dragging and dropping them. Now we can continue to enhance the status page with integrations in a number of different ways. If I switch back to my admin tab here real quick, we can go to my settings and go to integrations. And just to give us a quick look at some of the integrations we offer, we can do single sign-on. So whether that's with Sample 2.0 or Open ID Connect, we can integrate and kind of pass off authentication if need be. We also have lots of integrations with things like Slack and MS Teams to push out notifications to those vendors. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, we can collect metrics and display them on your page from things like Pingdom or New Relic or Datadog. Lots of ways that we can configure the page. And one other large type of integration that we offer is going to be under the settings section called beacons. Now beacons for us represent really any kind we have a third party service we want creating an incident on your status page. There's going to be a number of types of beacons that we offer starting with the third party status page ones. So status cast is not only just a status page vendor, but we're an also an aggregator of status data, which is huge. So if you have vendors like AWS and they post something to their status page, you can have that automatically imported into your page. You can even pick the specific components from there so that way you're only getting the relevant information. Other types of beacons will allow us to view what is going on, uh, will allow us to connect to observability platforms and other incident management platforms, things like Pingdom, New Relic, Uptime Robot, PRTG, uh, PagerDuty. You know, all these are gonna be generally webhook driven or email driven. And the idea behind these is that status cast will get a ping from one of those systems. And then you tell us what to do through these codeless UIs. What conditions do we want to check for creating an incident? How do we want to decide what the status is? This is all based on the data you send us and you tell us what to do with it. So ultimately you can create a very flexible integration where status cast can be connected into any of your systems and is simply being managed through the UI here. If we click into my beacon section real quick, we can see one of my more recent active ones it's sitting in my waiting column. 
If I click into this, we can actually see based on the rule sets here, I had a couple things go on. It was initially assigned to in my off hours team. Uh, it was then escalated to a couple different people because no one acknowledged it. So we can set up a couple different rules to help people internally manage what's going on if we're creating an event. We can see the content of the message that was actually sent in. So this incident.trigger message from PagerDuty is listed here. I can also finally acknowledge it so that way I'm you know, not escalating it and bothering people even further. And then maybe we can put it into the in-progress column because at this point I'm taking a look at it. Now, as we wrap up our demonstration, it's clear that StatusCast is not just a status page, it's a game changer in incident management. Our user-friendly interface, customizable status pages, real-time incident communication, powerful workflow, collaboration spaces, and seamless integrations make it the top of the line choice for any organization who's serious about managing incidents effectively. Thank you for joining us today. And remember, with StatusCast, you're not just managing incidents, you're mastering them. <laughs>